sheep. Here to me, sheep. Here. What is the chief end of man? Well, the chief end of man is his purpose. What is the purpose of man? The purpose of man is to glorify God. In fact, it's all of his creation, right, Cammie? It's little sheep, too. You're made to glorify God and to enjoy him forever. And we know that little lambies are very good at glorifying God and enjoying him, aren't they? The way that you bound and stuff. I love the pictures that we've got in the book that show you glorifying God and enjoying him forever, don't you? Okay, so um, the verse that we've got for this week is Psalm chapter 73 and verse 28. But for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge that I may tell of all of your works. So when we're going through a very hard time and we need to reach out to God and we need to ask him to please help us. Oh, please help. It hurts. Or it's just very hard. Maybe you're angry about something or you're very sad. The Lord is there to help us. And when he does reach out and help us, we glorify him in the fact that we declare his works. We declare his works by the fact that when we ask him, he hears our prayers and then he satisfies us. Even if he doesn't take away the circumstance, he helps us to show forth his works and the fact that we gain peace or we gain joy. Joy in the fact that even if something is hard, we can still do it, and we can do it with a glad heart, even if it's hard. So, for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge, that I may tell of all of your works. I was thinking about a song I could share with you this week that goes along with Sometimes we go through those hard times where we pray and we ask God to help us and to glorify him through his works in us. And so one of those things, one of those songs, I mean, was just a little chorus. And sometimes when you sing a chorus to yourself, it just kind of calms your heart. So I wanted to sing it to you. Jesus, I am resting, resting in the joy of what thou art i am finding out the greatness of thy loving heart And she had, had two sheets inside the canyon, so that's how she discovered from the back side following the, the canyon, three miles from here into the, into the sheets. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today. Cammie and I really enjoyed our trip when we went to Antelope Canyon. Those are the pictures that you just saw. And at the end, there was a little interview with a lady who was our tour guide. And she told us that there was um, a little girl from back in the 1930s who went into Antelope Canyon because she was looking for her two lost sheep. Isn't that something? She was looking for her sheep. I had no idea that that story was part of the Antelope Canyon, but she's the one that found it because her sheep found it. Isn't that amazing? So 
Sheep know what's going on, right? We know, we know. All right, so next time we're looking forward to making some gingerbread cookies. Won't that be fun? With a twist. See you next time.